we're gonna try to plug in this PS4 into this Xbox One, into this Xbox One, into that Xbox One. What's going on guys? So a couple of hours ago I had this weird idea and in this video we're gonna see if it works. So as you can see, I've got a PS4 Pro here, got a Xbox One S all digital edition here. You can see there's no disk drive. Got an Xbox One S here, normal edition, and then I got Xbox One X here. So I know the first thing you're probably thinking is why in the world does this dude have so many Xbox Ones? And I'm wondering the same thing as well. I really need to get rid of some of them. So let me just kind of give you a rundown of what's going to be happening here. So if you're familiar with the Xbox One, you'll know that they have two HDMI ports in the back. Let's see if we can focus on it. So you got one that goes out to your TV. So that's basically the one that plugs into your TV, obviously, and you can watch what you're playing. And this one is like a pass-through port. Uh, it says from satellite slash cable because I think it was originally meant for like a cable box um, I mean that was the whole idea of Xbox one was that it's one console You know you could play games you could um, stream your cable through the Xbox one and basically what that port does is you plug in Your cable box or whatever and then you open up application on your Xbox one and it shows the cable box screen on your Xbox one Which is kind of weird, but that's what it does and so in this video We're gonna try this weird thing right here. We're gonna try to plug in this ps4 into this Xbox One, and then plug in this Xbox One into this Xbox One, and then plug in this Xbox One into that Xbox One, and then plug in that Xbox One to the TV. And so essentially we're gonna be playing this PS4 on that Xbox One, which is gonna be on the TV, and then we have these two random Xbox Ones in the middle that's gonna be a bunch of pass-throughs. And we're gonna see if it works. I, I've not tried this yet, and I just had this random thought, and we're gonna try it out. So as you can see, I got a controller for each one, PS4 controller, Xbox One, Xbox One, by the way, this is a pretty neat controller. I'll link it down in the description if you want to check it out. And then one more Xbox One controller down here. I'm also stocked with HDMI cables, so let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, I gotta get power to my consoles. They're all plugged in, just gotta turn on the switch. And now we gotta connect up our HDMI cables. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, this PS4 is gonna have to go to the first Xbox One. All right, so I got that HDMI cable plugged in, and now I need to plug this HDMI cable into the pass-through port so this second cable right here or second port and then now I need to grab another HDMI cable and we're gonna plug in one end to the output HDMI of this console and now that we got that end plugged in we're gonna plug in the other end to the pass-through port on the next Xbox one and then last but not least we gotta connect the Xbox one S to the Xbox one X and then actually the final cable we have to do is plug in the HDMI that actually goes to the TV So there we go. And so I actually just realized I think we're gonna have to do this like one by one To make sure each Xbox one is on the right application. So we're gonna switch this output to the TV To the first Xbox one right now And so now basically we have this PlayStation going to this Xbox one and this Xbox one going to the TV And we're gonna make sure we're on the right application all right, so I have the PS4 Pro on, and I have the first Xbox One on, and I figured out the app you have to open up is called One Guide. So let me just go ahead and open that back up, and basically it takes you to this PS4 screen, but you can see it's still on the Xbox One. Uh, you can actually control this with my PS4 controller because it's, you know, actually showing the PS4. And so now let's do this for the next Xbox as well. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and unplug this HDMI port. Plug this one back in, and then we're going to plug this Xbox One into the TV so we can make sure it is set up on the correct app. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so I got the second Xbox on now and I can go over to my apps and let's open up one guide on here and hopefully it'll open up and we'll basically be seeing this PS4 on this Xbox One and then this Xbox One on this Xbox One. Oh, and here it is. It's trying to get me to set some mess up. Alright guys, so here we go. I am officially on the one guide app after all that setup mess and we can see that I'm on this Xbox One, um, but I should, whoa, that's weird, the screen just flashed. I should be able to also control it with this Xbox One though, because that's on the other Xbox One, <laughs> and I should also be able to control it, control the actual screen with this PS4 controller. Alright, so this is going to be weird guys, so let's plug it into the last Xbox One and see how this works out. So I got to unplug this from the TV. And now I plug this HDMI in, which will go to our final Xbox One. All right, so this one's plugged into the final Xbox One. And then I gotta plug this final Xbox One into the TV, and let's turn it on. All right, so I have my final Xbox One on. Let's go over and go to apps. And then we should be able to find the one guide. There it is. We'll open it up. 
and hopefully it won't make me do all the setup stuff this time. Alright guys, so I got it on my screen and I am officially connected from this PS4 to that Xbox One to that Xbox One to that Xbox One to my TV now. And I'm going to kind of try to prove it to you so that you don't think I'm messing with you. Uh, uh, so let's go to our homepage on the first Xbox One. And it's so basically each of my homepages should be a little bit different. As you can see, so that's the first Xbox One. And the next one goes through It's a different home screen. Um, as you can see, it has some different apps and stuff. And then this final one, which is also going through, has an even different one. Um, yeah, different apps are pulled up. And then finally, here's the controller that actually controls the whole thing so we can play games and stuff. But if you can tell, the ooh, the sound is really messed up. Let me try to turn, turn the sound up. All right, so I turned the sound up, and it's super laggy. Like, when I go to the side, it takes like a whole second before it makes the click sound. And every once in a while, it'll make a, ooh, just like that. It'll make a weird noise. Yeah. What is that noise? Oh, this is funny. <laughs> It's like not actually, it's passing through so many Xboxes that it's, I guess it's losing, getting some lag in there. And what is going on? Making some weird noises in my speakers. I don't know what's going on right now, but this is, this is weird. I, I think my next step is to buy some more Xbox Ones and see how many Xbox Ones I can go through until the signal is completely dead. Um, but to be honest, the, the video signal looks pretty good. I mean, I don't see any noticeable degradation. Um, obviously the sound is kind of messed up and it's laggy. But other than that, it actually passes through all the way. And I'm not getting any more of the flashing screen like I was getting a minute ago. But yeah, this is pretty weird. I don't know why I just did this, but yeah, now you know what happens when you go from a PS4 to an Xbox One, to another Xbox One, to another Xbox One, and then to a TV, and just in case you ever wanted to try that out. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know if you have any other weird ideas to try out. I'm always up for trying some weird stuff with these, all these consoles I have. I know I need to get rid of some, but you know, if I can keep making weird content like this, then I'll keep them all. Uh, so just let me know in the comments what you wanna see, and thanks for watching guys.